everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio. And today, as I promised you already, I have happy mail to share with you. More happy mail. This time it's products that I actually purchased with my own money. Yes, I do buy stuff. I do buy a lot of stuff, by the way. And this is, I'm showing you what I bought recently from Dessert.ca or Omer Dessert, the uh, art supply store from the chain of art supply stores that we have here in Canada. Um, Dessert.ca is usually uh, known for all of its beautiful, fine art supplies. They do have a craft department in there. They have a framing department. They have lots of uh, educational toys and coloring books. And if you've ever been inside a Omer Dessert store, oh, it's just like beautiful. I love that store. I love art supply stores. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, <laughs> enough reminiscing. Enough dreaming. So here is the stuff I ordered from Omer Dessert. So, by the way, I order from Omer de Serre because for me to drive to any of their locations, I am about an hour, just under an hour from um, two of the closest to me locations. And that means I have to go into the city and all that. So, uh, either I have to drive into Montreal or I have to drive into Ottawa and... Um, Sometimes when I'm in the city, I can stop by, but I don't often go to the city. And it's, you know, since it's a track, I appreciate that I can order online from them. And ordering online for me is less dangerous than going into the store in person. <laughs> Let's just say. So, one of the things I purchased, well, not just one, but uh, in this first order that I'm sharing with you, in order to top off my order so I could get the free shipping, and I can't even, I think the free shipping is, I'm, I've got my computer here so I can uh, check the details. I believe, I believe, I believe the free shipping, yeah, free shipping on orders over $39 uh, when you shop on www.dessert.ca. And by the way, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Um, I get nothing from talking to you about them. I just purchase from them. So, and they're not, it's not cheap. These are really uh, fine art supplies. They are, um, they're not on the cheap side at all. And, but this is how I'm able to buy certain things here in Canada, because this is how I, this is the place I can find them. So one of the things I do when I want to top off my order so I can get to the $39 so I can get the free shipping is I will order some individual Faber-Castell polychromo coloring pencils. And these are priced at $2.99 a piece. Yeah, $3, I know. But these are really top of the line. They are my absolute favorite, favorite type of coloring pencils. They are beautifully creamy. They are an oil-based, they're not wax-based. And uh, I have been using these since I was a child, probably, yeah. And I just, I just love them. And I, and I've been building my collection ever so slowly because as I just mentioned, they are, they are relatively expensive. Uh, they are out of reach for a lot of people. And I've been slowly building up the collection. They have uh, 120 colors in their line. And I had 60 and then I had 64. Five and you know, seventy, and, and uh, actually, I did find the whole set somewhere else, and that'll be in another video. So uh, I've been building my collection ever so slowly, and they rarely come on sale. These beautiful pencils. So I ordered. Uh, I think yeah, there's seven here. So yeah, that's. I didn't need to order all seven to get to my minimum order but it was easier 
it was a lucky seven what can i say so these are the beautiful colors i ordered and the thing that i ordered that was under the 39 dollars at first was this pot of golden micaceous iron oxide essentially for <laughs> my non-artsy -art friends it's a black paint okay it's a black very textury uh with hints of glass in it like like with shimmery bits in it of a thick paint it's really cool to work with this stuff and it's not easy to find so it's 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 a black paint but it's called micaceous iron oxide mostly because of the particles in it and it's you know pure pigment in there it's uh, again not the cheapest product out there i got the golden i did shop around a few places online for this and uh turned out that if i was ordering from omar de Saar, uh, i was better off overall so this pot uh cost me and it's it's an eight fluent ounces it's heavy it's a heavy eight fluent ounces 237 milliliters this is 32.99 and yeah so that's what i paid for this and i got all my other pencils so that was the first order from omer de Sarre. and i believe it is with this order that they sent me this sample of a new line of paper that they will have at the store i mean i'm not saying that this is a new line of paper but it, it'll be new at omer de Sarre. I'm not sure if it's there now, but it is the uh, Stonehenge. Uh, it's by the Legion, Legion Papers, and it's Stonehenge Aqua. So, uh, and it, that's what it says, Stonehenge Aqua, we are paper. Stonehenge Aqua, uh, it's type of watercolor paper, and these are just some samples. But this too is tends to be a very high-priced uh, fine art paper i'm not going to be writing shopping lists on this so i do have some samples in here of the their cold press at 140 pounds here and the cold press at 300 pounds so that means it's heavier this is i'll show you here yeah this is 300 pound cold press stonehenge paper this is the good stuff and this one is 140 so it's more flexible to give you an idea it's a little thinner and uh this is also this is hot press at 140 pounds you can't you can't feel the texture there of course but i can and the hot press at 275 pounds so yeah so beautiful samples of paper and it tells me on each one what type of paper it is and of course i will be using these for some artwork eventually but some special artwork though i won't be using this like i said for doodles so that is one order from omer de Serre. here we go again i'm going to show you this is where i buy i've been shopping there for ages so i don't spend as much money there as i spend at other stores Although I don't shop as often there as I do at other stores, but I probably spend as much money. Uh, but I love it. So the other order I placed from Omer de Sarre, and I think when I placed the first order, there was a percentage off. I don't remember exactly what the occasion was. I don't remember. But I know I, I accumulated uh, points. They do have the creative club at Omel de Salle where you get points for every dollar you spend and then of course those points turn into um a cash that you can use towards a for another purchase so it's it's nice it's a nice point system to have so the next order so the next order i had placed with Omel de Salle was because they were having a sale and they had some uh items 
that were really, really uh, inexpensive. Unfortunately, I didn't get there in time to order one of the items that was so well priced. Um, they, they, they ran out. They was it, of course everybody wanted to get their hands on it. But what I did manage to get was this 66 piece uh, sketch and art drawing set. Uh, sketch and draw art set and I believe I paid half price for it so I got it for $49.97 and this is it's like a gift set that they would sell around the uh, holidays and it's a great gift to give to someone uh, for birthdays and stuff and I'll get the box <laughs> so uh, here's the big box I ordered for half price at $49.97 so that means regular was like almost a hundred dollars and it is the Royal and Lang Nickel Studio Complete so um, Studio Complete sketch and draw art set and it's a big it comes in a big box and as you can see it says it has 66 pieces and includes an artist tray so this is the big box that it comes in it had weight to it now it's empty that's why i can do this i took everything out there so i could show it to you and inside it shows you it shows you what's inside here the contents and i think this is a really great art set to give the new um student if this someone decides to uh, start taking classes or to go to school to study art this is a great set to get them started for them to do a lot of their practice work um this is also a good set to give someone who wants to get into drawing and sketching as a hobby and for the crafter in general Fine artists who are already established, who already do a lot of drawing and sketching, might still appreciate it though if they just want it for the supplies, like I do. This is why I ordered it because at this price, I knew I was going to get a lot of good supplies for my money, and that's exactly why I bought it. Um, and I'll show you exactly what was in this box. In just a, a few moments so yeah so this is why I would recommend this set for a beginner a crafter a hobbyist or anyone who just has uh, a thing for collecting art supplies <laughs> like I do <laughs> so in the Royal and Lane nickel uh, sketch and draw art set came this artist tray and this to me was really it was, it was almost worth the whole 50 bucks because these trays are not cheap so it's it's a plastic tray somewhat uh see-through not quite transparent but see-through it's it's a good sturdy kind of plastic as you can see it's, it's it's got a little bit of a bend to it it can hold quite a lot of a lot of stuff without breaking it's not flimsy and so that that is really really practical for us creatives when we are working on something you could put a whole bunch of supplies in here while you are working so it's basically a divided tray so in the box it says that it comes with a mannequin so there i'll show you again on the back of the box there so here's my little mannequin he's still in his packaging so this is great for figure drawing so all you he's he's tiny but very helpful when you're learning to draw and I'm terrible at drawing figures so this is not where I am the strongest so here's our little mannequin so you see it's quite it's flexible it's pretty stiff but flexible and there's a little hand so or she well it's it's hard to yeah it's a, a person this person here so yeah the, you can pose it 
if you want to pose it like running, jogging. Whoops, I just kicked off its base. So I just pushed off its base by accident. But the base just sticks in here. The hole is a little tight. Yeah, I would make the hole slightly bigger with a pokey tool or something. And there you go. So there's our little mannequin. Do, 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 do. So that comes with it. So these things are not cheap. So there's another little item that is fun to have. With the kit um, comes this artist guide for sketching. And it there's a lot of instructions, basic instructions inside of how to take care of your pencils, how to sharpen them, what each item in the box is for, what each type of pencil does. There's uh, a variety of pencils for sketching, ranging uh, in the, let's say three, there's even a 6B. From 6B to 6H, 6H or 5H, 5H, yeah. So you get all these sketch pencils in here and so you get 12 graphite pencils ranging from 6b to 5h so yeah that's, the print is really small i can't show that to you well so that comes with it it also comes with some coloring pencils there are 12 in here everything is from royal langlico so like I said, that is a student grade of art supplies. And it also comes with compressed color sticks. So basically this is like what's inside those colored pencils. So if you wanna lay down a lot of color quickly, you would use one of these color sticks. And it also comes with a kneaded eraser, kneaded, K-N-E-A. D, kneadable eraser, A-B-L-E, kneadable. And these are those gray, funny looking erasers. It's still wrapped and I'm gonna leave it wrapped so it doesn't harden. And it, it's very squeaky uh, and you can manipulate this. You can break off a little piece and you can just remove a little bit of your drawing at a time with this or you can erase the whole thing it's great for cleaning up your work when you want to erase all those lines you created before you paint something so kneadable erasers are an artist's best friend there's also some willow charcoal in here willow charcoal is basically burnt sticks <laughs> uh, but it's so fun to sketch and draw with these and yeah, they're messy. They're messy, but uh, they're fun. They're something we all have to get in art school, and that's one of the first things they make us draw with is that. And there's also some regular pencils. Oh, no, these are charcoal pencils. So you get three charcoal pencils in soft, medium, and hard. So this is charcoal in a pencil form, so you can sharpen this and use it. Some, you get some torsion or blending stumps. These are tortillions, tortillon et blending stumps. There's different people call these different things in different countries. So these are basically rolled up like paper. And um, well, these ones are more like compressed paper pulp. And uh, you use these for shading, for blending your graphite and pencil. And even, uh, you can use it for coloring pencil as well. So that, and these these you could buy for very little money usually, and they're available in lots of places. And this is a sanding block. It's covered right now with a piece of protective paper. So it's basically a little paddle like this with some small sheets of sandpaper. And that is used for creating a very fine point on your pencils or charcoal. And it also comes with a white eraser for erasing uh, pencil. And a sharpener that has the regular size hole and the large hole for those really big pencils. 
So that's not it. There's other stuff in here. So of course I've just shown you all the coloring and drawing tools that are included in here and the uh, really, really nifty artist tray. Okay. And all the stuff that's in here. Ta -da. But they provide tons of paper, lots of paper. So there is, to start with, a drawing artist pad. This one contains 100 sheets of paper. It is 62 pounds, uh, measures nine by 12 inches. This is perfect for your colored pencils, your colored sticks, and just regular pencil as well. It's, it's a little heavier and a little bit more textury than your regular um, office paper, and it's more matte. It's not as shiny, so that it, it's it's nice to use pencil on that. And <clears throat> oh, and here on a piece of that paper, I had swatched out all the pencils that are in this kit. Uh, just to test them out to see how they work. I wrote little notes at the back to say, to remind me what I uh, thought of each pencil. And I did find that the H's, which are the har the harder lead pencils, the 5H, 4H, 2H, 3H, H, uh, were quite scratchy and hard. Uh, but H pencils tend to be hard. They are hard pencils. They're supposed to be hard. And these ones I find a, found a little particularly scratchy, but uh, still I think they're fine for the beginner or student. And the HB uh, I thought was a little too hard for what I like. It, I've, I, I know there's lots of softer HBs, but usually they're much more expensive. And yeah, the B was not as soft as I would like. So for the sketching pencils that are included in this kit, um, they're not exactly my favorites and I would recommend buying a good set of sketching pencils, a better quality one to include with this if this is intended to be a gift for someone who is really intent on drawing and drawing well. So uh, it, was just, it would just be a little less frustrating to have a better quality of, um, sketching pencil so and as far as the coloring pencils are in here here all the coloring pencils I found that the the purple color that you see here is actually not indicated properly on the pencil it looks like a diff totally different color but the other ones yes they they do correspond with the stripe of color that's on the pencil and they, they are they are a wax based a coloring pencil so they they're waxy but and I did find them a bit hard I really like a softer core pencil and I did but the red is cre the creamiest and softest of all of them and uh, overall I would say that they are they're quite hard to color with and dusty but again we're talking about perhaps the hobbyist or beginner using this so that's okay they're not they're not terrible I'm just telling you compared to stuff that you would have to pay more for and yep those are all my notes that I took on the drawing and coloring tools now there's also this pad that's included this one is a 50 pound sketching artist pad and there are a hundred sheets in here so it is slightly thinner than the other pad I showed you, but it's also just great for lots of sketching, lots of practice work. Goodness knows we go through a lot of paper in, uh, in the art world, so that is great. And then included in this, as if, as if this wasn't enough, there's two wonderful sketchbooks, the Royal Langnickel sketchbooks. Uh, these are the 65 pound. These are really nice sketchbooks. Uh, they have nice paper. They're perfect for sketching. Again, I would say that this, yeah, this is perfect for sketching. This is what this kit is. It's a sketch and draw art set. It's not a painting art set. It's not a mixed media, but um, yeah, 
this is good. And there's a smaller coil bound artist sketchbook. This one is the A5 size. It is 70 pounds. The paper is 70 pounds. This one is 65 pounds for, for each page. And this one measures eight and a half by 11. It's a very substantial size. It has 110 sheets or 220 pages, 220, so that there's one sheet of paper. Each side makes a page, so there's 220. And um, this one is, there's 80 sheets of paper in here, so you get 160 pages. So this one is more portable. So overall, I'm really happy with my purchase of this set. I do recommend it for the beginner and the hobbyist. And if you give this to someone who already uh, is very serious about drawing, I would just throw in an extra uh, set of good sketching pencils and a, you know, a better quality eraser probably, which I'm sure would be greatly appreciated. So the next thing I, I ordered from their sale was the watercolor paint kit. This is the watercolor paint kit. Nobel is the uh, brand. And again, I really like this box that it comes in. And by the way, I just like to say that Omel LaSalle does an excellent job at shipping these expensive art supplies. They do use their they do use a private courier service. And ever and I do have to sign for these packages when they arrive. And every package is well packaged. I mean, this came with a lot, a lot of bubble wrap in the box and it was very safe. So none of my pencils have broken and everything I've ordered from them in the past has always arrived in really good shape. So that's, and that's, that's important because these materials that we buy these supplies are expensive. So it's nice to know that they take the extra time and effort to package them well for us. So uh, this is the box that it comes in. I love, you know, I love to have all these plastic boxes in my studio. And it's, it's a little handle, little suitcase. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So this is the Nobel watercolor set. I'll tell you right off the bat, I wasn't sure about getting this, uh, but I, I thought well, it might be worth the money and then I'll have extra supplies. So I got it. And uh, with it comes the cold pressed acid free watercolor paper pad that is 9 by 12 inches, no bell paper. It's okay paper, you know, it's great for the, the casual artist, the hobbyist. It's great for me when I'm not doing anything serious. This is great for my mixed media work and my playing around. I'm, I'm not a, like a great artist, that's for sure, so I'm, I'm very happy with this and it's 12 sheets and it's 180 gsm so it's it's a decent quality of paper now the one thing i was really disappointed with is that the description of the website for this particular kit said that it came with a porcelain porcelain paint palette and that was the selling point for me I want a porcelain, I've been wanting a real porcelain paint palette for a while now. And everywhere I look to purchase one of these online, they're, they're so expensive. So to see that one was included, albeit a small one in the kit, was really the selling point for me. However, I'm very disappointed because this is not porcelain. This is plastic. So that's not uh, accurate information, so I'm a little disappointed with that. Now, I am surprised in a good way at the quality of the brushes. Although they are made overseas, uh, these Nobel brushes, these are the brushes they send in, that they provide in this kit. I. I tested these brushes. I really was, I uh, put them through the ringer 
and they did not shed a single bristle. They are very, they, they're very soft and they are keeping their shape very well. Uh, so I have to say that the brushes are good quality. I can't say anything bad about that. And then in, inside the, the case, there's a tray to hold all your stuff, but it's very flimsy. This is a really, really flimsy tray. So I, I have mixed emotions about this one. And they, this comes with a 12 tubes of Nobel watercolor. Now these are definitely student grade watercolor paints. They are not the highest of quality. There is probably quite a lot of binder in them, but this is what this is. This is intended to be a beginner's watercolor kit. And it's a good kit for a beginner. Um, and here are all the colors I swat that I swatched out to show you. They're, they are more on, I would say, the subdued side more matte they're not that they're not very bright but they are fine for learning how to use watercolors and again the second thing i was disappointed by was the fact that there were two tubes of vermilion so my box did not come with the tube of crimson which is red uh, so I have two tubes of vermilion. So those, that's two things that are a strike against this kit for me. But again, it was not expensive. I think this whole kit was about, was just under $40. I can't tell you now because I lost my page and the internet's not working. So I can't really double check that. Um, hold on. Yeah, so this set normally I think sells for just over $50 around the holidays, but it was on sale for $32. And um, so for $32, like, you know, um, yeah, I got what was expected for $32, really. I mean, expecting the porcelain plate to be included in a $32 kit, yeah, that was... That was really unrealistic of me because the a porcelain plate this size is at least that $32 so uh, yeah that would, although I'm disappointed uh, you know I got my money's worth really and I have this handy dandy case for it so that is my haul from Omer de Sartre uh, my happy mail haul I hope that you found this uh, interesting if you are interested in art supplies and uh, like I said, I have no affiliation with Omer de Serre at all. And I just purchase from them as a consumer. And remember that all these opinions are my own. So uh, <laughs> that's all I can, that, you know, that's just me just telling you how I feel about stuff. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this and you'll give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. And stay crafty, my friends. Bye.